Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about permutations with repetitions examples. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the permutations with repetitions formula. And in our previous classes, we already discussed a few examples on permutations without repetitions. Please watch all those classes because we are going to use the concepts which we discussed previously. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, see here the first example, take the word Mississippi. So from this word, they are going to ask the questions like this, total number of words possible using the characters that present in this word. Similar type of examples we already done in our permutations without repetitions. Our explanation is also based on the assumption that you already have that basic knowledge. Based on that, our explanation is there. So, from our previous classes, if assume that the characters that present in this word are all unique, means there is no repetition. Here, S is repeated four times, I is repeated four times, P is repeated two times. Assume that if all the characters are different. So, how many ways you are going to arrange those 11 characters? Total, how many characters are there? 11 characters are there. How many ways you are going to arrange these 11 characters? If we want to arrange these 11 characters in 11 different positions, we go with 11 factorial ways. This is what we discussed in our previous examples without repetitions. But in our last class, we discussed the formula. If this is the situation, what is the formula for identifying with repetitions? See here, I is repeated four times, S is repeated four times, P is repeated two times. So, total number of possibilities are 11 factorial divided by 4 factorial, 4 factorial and 2 factorial. This is the formula which we discussed. Simply using the formula. Most of the examples are simply based on the applying of formula. Once you understand the formula, it's very, very easy. So, coming to the second question, 11, so total number of possibilities are 11 factorial by 4 factorial, 4 factorial and 2 factorial. Now, coming to the second example, total number of words that start with P using the same uh, uh, characters that present in this word, total 11, 11 characters are there, 11 positions, but the starting position should be placed with P. So, how many P's are there? We are having two P's. If you place one of the P here, remaining 10 positions can be filled with the remaining 10 characters. If you take one of the P out, how many characters are there? 10 characters are there. In the 10 characters, do you have P repeated? No, we don't have P repeated because one P is taken out and in the remaining characters, we have only one P. So, remaining 10 characters can be arranged in this 10 positions in 10 factorial ways divided by, because of repetitions divided by, how many repetitions? S repeated 4 times, I repeated 4 times, total 4 factorial, 4 factorial. It's very simple. Now, coming to the next example, just extension of this example, second example. We need to find the words that start with P and end with I. So, in the beginning, you place P. In the end, you place I. How many remaining positions are there? These are fixed positions because it has to start with P and end with I. So, in the re remaining characters, we are having total 9 characters are there. Once you place P here, I here, total 9 characters are available. These 9 characters can be placed in these 9 positions, in 9 factorial ways. But in that 9 characters, we are having I repeated 3 times, S repeated 4 times. So, that is why 9 factorial by 4 factorial and 3 factorial, multiplied by 3 factorial. Now, coming to the last question, in the given same Mississippi characters, you have to place vowels together and consonants together. Put all the vowels together. How many vowels are there in this? I, 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 I. You have to place all the I's together. So, you make it as a bundle. Means, you consider all I's as one single element. Similar type of examples we discussed in our previous classes, permutations with repetitions. 
and all consonants together means these are all the consonants that present in miss cp all component uh, consonants together so total how many bundles are there how many elements are there we consider this as one element and this as another element two elements can be arranged in two positions in two factorial ways you can place this the other side and this is swap them this is one possibility this is one possibility total how many possibilities are there two possibilities are there so two factorial not yet completed see you need to understand you can arrange these two elements in two factorial ways but inside they are asking you that you have to place all consonants together they did not mention any anything about consonants how these consonants should be placed you can place consonants in any way you can place vowels in any way means you can place p in the beginning you can place m in the end you can place s in the beginning you can place s in the end so two factorial multiplied by similarly you can place vowels also i in the beginning i in the beginning here if you want to place vowels if you want to do arrangement whatever the way you arrange you are going to get the same thing so this is only one possible way is there so two factorial multiplied by one multiplied by this can be arranged in multiple ways so two factorial multiplied by one which is two factorial that's why we are not writing that two factorial multiplied by how many characters are there in this bundle in this uh, consonants seven characters are there these seven characters can be arranged in seven factorial ways uh, divided by repetitions are four and two four factorial two factor these are all the possibilities you have if you want to place all vowels together and consonants together these consonants can be arranged these type of questions they are going to ask in our next class we are we will do some more examples on alphabets then we go further numbers hope you understand these examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you